Talmoana YouTube. What's up, guys? How's it going today? I'm gonna be finally, finally coloring my bronze lithe. I am so excited about this. I've been saving up for this freaking chess piece to be colored since the beginning of time. Mainly because, as you're gonna see here, the colors of gems I'm using does not is not conducive whatsoever whatsoever to a all evasion or primarily evasion chess piece so as you can see i've got one green two blues and three reds now the bronze lithe is all evasion so that means it's main the main color it's going to want to focus on is green so you got those those armor based um pieces of equipment that are focused on red and you got the the energy shield types that are based a little bit more on blue so according to Verici's calculator, it's gonna take me at least 3,200 chromas to potentially get the right coloration. Now, before we dive straight into that, I'm gonna show you just how, how valuable one of these pieces of equipment is. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys two different websites, one of which is the Verici calculator, and I'm also gonna show you the uh, the POE trade on, on how difficult it is to get one of these pieces of equipment. So. Let's go ahead and bring up real quick POE trade. I'm gonna look up bronze live. Now I'm actually gonna use this piece of equipment. I'm not gonna try and sell it, but those of you guys who happen to get a really well colored bronze live that's got some decent rolls um, on mine, as you can see real quick, I've got a uh, perfect damage. Yeah, 50% increased damage with movement skills. It's just the evasion rating is not perfect. I'm like 19% off, so I'm not too, too terribly worried about that, uh, but it is something that's kind of be mindful of. So six socket. And I want three red, one green, two blue. All right, I'm not even gonna add any rolls, whether perfect, not perfect. I'm not even gonna add if it's linked, right? Nine exalt, all right? This one is linked. Uh, according to this, it does not have perfect evasion, but just shy of it, and it does not have perfect damage. So it's like, like an average rolled, a little bit more heavy on, on uh, evasion, but an average rolled, it is six length, but with this, this coloration, nine exalt, right? Look at that, boom. This one's 10 exalt, not perfect. It's close to perfect, 48% to 48%. Uh, but it's, but just to kind of show you how difficult this is going to be for me. Now, something I use is what's called Verici Chromatic Calculator. This is a way you can see before you just start throwing chromas at your chest piece. This will kind of tell you the best way to go about getting the colors that you want. So I'm going to type in, plug in the, the necessary pieces of information it's going to need. His total sockets is six. Um, the requirements is a requirement of the chess piece itself. So this requires, as you can see at the top, uh, level 53 and 144 decks. So decks, I'm going to put 144. Now here's the colors I want, desired colors. I want three reds, one green. That's, uh, that's what's going to do me. And then two blues right there. Boom. We hit calculate, and it's going to tell you the best means of approach here. So average cost. This is the average cost. This is not even a, not even a guarantee. 3,185 chromas. Success chance, 0.47%. An average attempts is 212. Oh man, per attempt is 15 chromas. All right, so just as a fun tool here, I'm actually gonna have the link to both of these websites down below in the description. Give them their shout outs, their credit deserved. I mean, the people who make these, these two sites are just fantastic. I mean, it's such a great tool to use to have because no, no, excuse me, knowing me, I would just sit there and use just chromatic singles over and over and over again until I got it. But this is telling me I should use the Verici's bench, one red, one blue. This is what's telling you the the best avenue of approach. If I went this route, I would get 100k. It's just, oof. <laughs> my buddy, my buddy pirate here. All right, so I, I told him that I was gonna go ahead and give this a try oh wait I should probably I should probably grab the bronze line all right now notice guys I do have it at quality 20% um, I haven't looked up myself I've done the research as to whether or not the quality is gonna play it I do know it does play an effect when you're trying to fuse it um, as you can see mine's not fu fused just yet um, but who knows all right so one more check here it does say one red one blue that's the one we're gonna do I'm so nervous like I I really don't want to. I don't want to mess this up because I want to get this thing colored and just be done with it. One red, one blue. Here we go, guys. Wish me luck. We start off with. I think I had 3,300. So we'll, we'll note that. We'll note that. 3,300. I think that's what I started off with.
it's gonna give me this right here a bunch of times i've i've attempted this back when i had like 500 just just to see if it would happen and oh oh <laughs> what oh i didn't even need that many chromas what yes don't hold on hold on hold on get me get this back out here before i accidentally click anything all right so one green three red two that's exactly what i needed Wow, how many comas do I have left? Oh, what? 3,200 still? Wow, that was... Whew, my heart's kind of racing a little bit. Because I... I if you, farming for fusings is one thing. Farming for chromas... I mean, come on. Right now, the actual average price, I can go ahead and show you guys for chromas. I can actually... Because I have, what, 3,200 left now? We can take a look here. Um, chromas are actually going super cheap right now. We could actually go... You know what? Let's just do reload it right here and show you guys chromatic orbs for exalts right now 570 a piece so i can actually get what two three four five i can get i can get a couple exalt with the with the chromatic i don't need three three thousand two hundred chromas anymore so i might go ahead and just <laughs> sell these for some exalts <sighs> wow all right so the next step is going to be to fuse them that's going to be a separate stream, or excuse me, a separate, uh, a separate video. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. So appreciate y'all for tuning in. Um, if you haven't already, follow me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Scottoria for some live stream coverage. Hey, from what I've seen, streamer RNG is, is kind of a thing. It's, it's weird. I always feel like I get the best luck when I'm live, but apparently it's even better when I'm on YouTube. But anyway... Twitter, uh, at Clash Scott Tori. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. See whenever I go live, whenever I post new videos, whenever I see a, a cool flower outside or something. Uh, and if you like this video, make sure you guys click that like and the subscribe button down below. Do get, I'm always open for some tips. If you guys see any any of my other Path of Exile videos, you're like, Scott Torio, what are you thinking, man? What are you telling people to do this for when you could be doing this? I'm, I'm an airborne paratrooper. I have thick skin. I am always open to suggestions and criticism just just don't be don't be mean about it and then discord.gg slash the kill squad all one word hop over to my discord server you're more than welcome to talk about path of exile we have our own path of exile channel in there um talk about the weather or where people are from or if you have questions about the army or anything at all so appreciate the opportunity and i will see you again very soon